Hello, I'm Clive Baldwin, the world's greatest minstrel. Well, I must be. I'm the only one left after 150 or more years of tradition. The New Age says those days are over and I'm a racist. So I wonder how you will feel about this poem that I wrote. Memories. I cannot bring back Al Jolson, but only memories that live again each time I sing those Dixie melodies. When I was just a young boy, he was sixty-odd years old, but every song he sang for me was just as good as gold. He became just like an uncle who impressed and nurtured me. He's still the kind of singer that I still aspire to be. I've heard it said he wasn't nice, but I cannot agree. If pleasure is the measure, he was always nice to me. And those who said he wasn't nice say he was racist, too. But racists won't wear blackface. That's the last thing they would do. A racist is a racist, be he white or be he black, who will not share his heritage and give a little back. As the canter that he might have been, his voice was heard on high. He put a black man on the stage in a way we can't deny. To implement their dictates is the function of each age. The old one brought Messiah. The new one brought the rage. The rage we saw at Columbine and the town of Lockerbie Fort Hood and 9-11. It's plain for all to see. When we said we loved Jolson, we loved his black man, too. If love is all that matters, what more can one man do? The legacy of love he left is glowing warm and bright. The memory of his singing can light the darkest night. And life is only memories. We make them every day. And it's a joy to share them with our friends along the way. When I have no friends to sing to and I am on my own, I'll play my Jolson records on my wind-up gramophone. And then I shall be young again. And Dixie melodies will scratch their way to yesterday. And my sweet memories. <laughs> 